In this video, we'll be taking a look at the different common types of solmization systems. Then we will apply a few of those solmization systems in the singing of different types of scales. Solmization systems can be broken down into two varieties. Movable systems emphasize function, and fixed systems emphasize notation. Both have different advantages. One of the common movable systems is movable dough, and the subtype specifically is where dough equals tonic. This particular subtype was popularized by the music educator Kerwin. Another variant of movable dough is in which tonic is do in major, but tonic is la in minor. This system was popularized by Kodai. And thirdly, another alternative to emphasize function is scale degrees. In this case, you would sing directly on the scale degrees of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is usually shortened to sev in order to keep it at one syllable, and then the octave duplication would be called one. There are two common fixed systems. These emphasize notation. In fixed do, C is always do, D is always re, E is always mi, etc. So it doesn't matter whether you are in C major or G major or F major, C will always equal do. Another alternative is to call the different notes by their English letter names, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. Most of the time, if you are going to sing on this system, you wouldn't specify a sharp or a flat, though some prefer to do so. Now we're going to talk about different circumstances that might lend themselves well to one system over another. So let's consider a few case studies. Case number one, imagine you are a middle school choir director, and most repertoire you teach stays in a single key or alternates between relative keys. You would like your students to be able to sing in tune quickly despite their limited knowledge of theory fundamentals. Which system might you select? The system that might be most appropriate for this circumstance is movable do with law based minor. The reason for this is that the only piece of information that the students need to be able to identify in order to sight sing using this system is what the major key signature is. In many ways, this system doesn't even you don't even necessarily need to know what minor is and where exactly the minor passages begin. All you have to need, to, all you really need to know is what the um, major key signature is. And because that's a fairly straightforward thing to teach students, this is one of the reasons why this particular system is extremely popular among educators, particularly those who specialize in middle school. Let's consider another case. Imagine you conduct a professional ensemble that specializes in contemporary music, and you wish to adopt a system to assist with your personal score study and ear training. Which system might you select? Notice that if you're dealing with contemporary music, this is not going to be diatonic most of the time. It's not even going to fall within the realm of functional chromaticism most of the time. Therefore, in this sort of circumstance, a fixed system might be more appropriate to your needs either a fixed do system or using the letter names. Case number three. Imagine you teach aural skills at the college level and you want to stress the connection between melody and harmony. In particular, you want to highlight how harmonic functions work similarly in major and in minor. Which system might you select? There's a couple of different things that you could do, but especially if you care about harmonic function, you might go with either movable do with do based tonic, always the Kerwin variant, or with scale degrees. Case number four. You normally cite saying using movable do solfege, but you want to focus on learning a particular clef less familiar to you. Which system might you select for this targeted practice? In this case, the best system would be letter names. Trying to do both movable dough and fixed dough at the same time is very, very confusing. Um, but a movable system really won't target specifically working in a clef, say if you're working on alto clef, um, for example. So which solmizations will we be using in this class? There are three of them. 
First, we'll be using movable dough with dough-based tonic. This is the one that I will use primarily. Um, I think it is one of the best at communicating harmonic function, especially given our background in strengths and solfege. However, because it is important for music educators to be conversant with law bass minor as well, we will also include that particular strategy. It works especially well, again, on melodies that vacillate between two relative keys, and it's probably the best system for that sort of repertoire. In order to work on clef reading, we will also be using a fixed system. Specifically, we'll be using letter names. And just remember, when you're using the system, pronounce just the letter, not the accidental. All right, so let's practice singing a few scales together. As you can see, the first scale I have up here is B flat major. And we're going to go ahead and sing this on solfege. One, two, ready, and. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, do, ti, do, sol, fa, mi, re, do. So far, so straightforward. Now, let's try that particular major scale again, this time just using letters. Do not pronounce the flat, so just normalize it to B and E rather than B flat and E flat. You can see what those are on the screen, but we're going to emphasize the letter names, not the accidental that goes with them. One of the reasons we do this is to keep everything at one syllable, which makes it substantially easier to sing, especially when the rhythm is a lot more complicated than just quarter notes we have here. All right, on letters two, ready, and B, C, D, E, F, G, K, B, B, A, G, K, F, E, D, C, B. Now staying in that same key signature, we're going to go down to G natural minor. So do, thinking back in solfege, do, ti, la, there's our G. And let's sing the natural minor together, please. Ready, and... La ti do re mi fa so la la so fa mi re do ti la. Now let's return to our original do. La ti do. Whereas B flat major and G minor are relative keys, B flat major and B flat minor are parallel keys. They share the same tonic. So now let's sing the B flat minor scale, this time using Do based minor instead of La based minor. So let's try this together. One, two, ready, and. Do, re, me, fa, so, le, te, do, do, te, le, so, fa, me, re, do. All right, so that was the parallel natural minor. Now let's try harmonic minor. As you might remember, harmonic minor raises te up to t, thus including a leading tone, thus taking one step closer to functioning as a major scale would. So let's sing the harmonic minor scale together. Two, ready, and. Do, re, me, fa, so, le, ti, do, do, ti, le, so, fa, me, re, do. What's interesting about harmonic minor is that it's really not a scale so much as it is a collection of the pitches that are most commonly used in the harmonies. Because a lot of repertoire would avoid the augmented second that we get between le and tu in that particular scale. Last but not least, let's sing the melodic minor. Notice that on the way up, we have la and t, so the raised scale degree six and the raised scale degree seven. Basically, those are identical to the way they would be in a major scale. And on the way back down, we have te and le. So the way back down in the melodic minor scale is actually identical to the way down on the natural minor scale. So let's sing that scale up and down. Two, ready, and. Do, re, me, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, te, le, so, fa, me, re, do. 
Alrighty, so I hope this video was helpful in explaining some of the strengths and weaknesses of the different solmization systems and also quickly reviewing the different types of scales and their solfege.